Hey guys, thanks for tuning in here. We got kind of a different type of job here. It's kind of a two for two for one. Um, got a drywall patch here, but I've also got some wires. I gotta I'm gonna put an outlet down here. So right now that box. Don't ask me how it got this way. I have no idea, but I need to fix this. So these wires looks like somebody oh has uh, tried to put them together. I don't know if they're live or not. That's why I got this, <clears throat> this voltage tester, Klein Tools voltage tester. I got a couple different kinds, but I always use these every time I'm doing electrical work. Um, so this needs to get plumbed into the, uh, wired into the, the box down here. So pretty straightforward, uh, kill the power, kill the power to them. Yeah, they're live. Oh yeah. So very dangerous here. Yep, it's telling me, hey, there's there's current going to this. So uh, turn off the breaker to that, and then I'm gonna put a uh, an outlet down there and bring these down. <laughs> Look, at it, I even get it close. It tells me, uh, and then outlet in, get that going, and then once that's done, then I'm gonna have to do a drywall patch here. Okay. I've Isolated the uh, the wiring, so gave it the test. Good to go. I'd be getting shocked right now. Thank God for these things. So good to go there. So now what I'm going to do is run both of these down through the top of there. See those holes? And then they're going to come out here, and then I can wire them into that outlet. All right. So here's the problem. So I wanted to put these wires. These two will fit, but the ground wire. And they, even then, um, I wanted to come out here and be able to come out there, but these wires are not long enough. So they're just barely short, and that's all I can get on. So what I'm going to do is put a new box right up here. And then as far as the solution for this thing, I've got a couple options here. could either drywall over it, but what I'm going to do is just put a cover over it. And then I've got this little barrier here, too, to kind of keep a... You know keep it efficient um, so I'm gonna pop a couple screws in there and then just put a nice cap over it I'll take care of that first okay, you got the screws pushed through there just gonna put it in okay got that taken care of now to put the new box in here first thing I need to do is punch out these two little these two little pop-outs here. Look at them fingernails. That's from doing that starter on that Toyota. And my hands all greasy. Sorry. I do wash my hands. Okay, there we go. So how did I get those nails in there and secure this thing? So the nails were kind of sticking out here so you can't really get a good swing with your hammer. So I use this. You don't need to use exactly one of these, but made for a good angle. So I just did that. Held it up there held it up there and hit that in with the hammer and that ain't gonna no that is not going anywhere so try to make it flush with the wall so that way the outlet can come out here and I could put a cap on it there <clears throat> and I already ran the wires down through there so this is I'm happy about that now it's time to install this baby and all we have to do is just kind of fill it in here into the drywall piece here Okay, these ones are designed to where you can put the wire around the screw and tighten it up, or you can put it right down through that hole right there, like that, and then tighten it up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go like that, and then tighten them up. And then both grounds are gonna go on that green one. All right, here's how I wired it up. Got the two hot ones on the right, and the two neutrals on the left. Right, so here, this is our, these all come from one set of wires here. So that's for the bottom plug. And then this is like the outgoing, I guess you could say. You could almost say this is incoming and then outgoing. And so that way you're getting power through to the bottom outlet and through the top one. And then you can even say that, you can even see that it says hot wire. So black is hot. And uh, just turned on the breaker. These wires are, uh, they're live. Neutral, neutral, hot. Get a little 
little bit on the bottom, a little bit on the top. Okay, got that in there good. Now, some drywall, some, some cosmetic stuff here. But this thing's ready to use. All right, now that I got that in there, everything's tight, it works. I cut a board, so this was uh, this was almost five inches, so I wanted to get some overlap there. The trick here is gonna be to not drop it, and then I'm gonna screw some screws in through here and there to this board, use it as backing so I can put my drywall piece in. Okay, to make sure I don't drop it, I just screwed a piece right in the middle. That way I can kinda hold it right there, and then I can some pressure on it while I drill my other screws. Wow, here's a cool thing I just learned. So, I mean, uh, just cutting these little pieces. So this, all I needed was a four and a half by four and an eighth. I just cut my square. But this little handsaw just, I mean, it just cuts through that. I've used, tried to score it with razor blades before and kind of just work it down, took forever. This took no kidding, like 30 seconds just to, so if you, just to cut that out, if you, uh, if you need to cut a little piece out of drywall, use a handsaw, it works great. Okay, now I'm gonna start spackling. So down here, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some spackle in there, put some spackle in there. Really that cover is gonna go, is gonna cover around there, so. Um, it's got a, just like we did with this one, it's got that felt on the back, so it'll cover this area up. So now we'll just go ahead and uh, put, some, put some spackle on there. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll uh, wait for this to dry, sand it a little bit, and then I'll texture it, tape over that, and then texture it. So some spray texture just to kind of match the surroundings. Then I'll put the cover on that and be good to go. All right, you guys, so uh, I'm gonna, we're actually gonna do some shiplap over this. So I'm not gonna worry about texturing it, but normally I would do some spray texture and then put the covers on. Yes, I switched the covers to black. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna call that good. The drywall's all good, everything's sound. The uh, outlet works. This is covered up. We have no more exposed wires, no more exposed holes. And, uh, you know, really what I would do is if we're going to, again, like I said, we're going to put shiplap over this. So what I would do is, is uh, fill this in real good, a little bit more, see these divots, and then uh, sand it down to where it looked like, you know, flat, and then, and then texture it, tape over that and texture it. But there's no need for, for me, so... Um, the shiplap is going to be a, a whole nother job, separate job, so I'm going to leave it as is. And so it's, uh, it's functional, there's no holes in the walls, no exposed wires, very happy. Alright, well, hope this helps and uh, thanks for watching.